Hi, I'm Mystic Rose, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me. Today's pick a card reading is going to be a really special one. It's all about what do they see when they look into your eyes. So it's going to be very in-depth and very, very detailed. I hope that you'll enjoy. And if you do, please remember to leave a comment and also to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you be part of this awesome community. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. Thank you also to my channel members and my Patreon members. I love you all so much and I truly appreciate all of your love and support. Let's go ahead and get started on this very special pick a card reading all about what do they see when they look into your eyes? Okay, you can choose from three piles, gemstones or images or a combination. If you feel drawn to more than one, there's a reason. Just keep that in mind as we go along, okay? Let's get started. Hello and welcome to your gemstone selection. So if you were drawn to this purple amethyst, you will choose pile one. If you were drawn to this rose quartz, you will choose pile two. And if you were drawn to this green aventurine, you will choose pile three. If you need a moment to think about it, you can pause the video. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started on today's pick a card reading all about what do they see when they look into your eyes. Hello and welcome for those of you who chose image one or this purple amethyst. You're in the right place for today's pick a card. And today's pick a card reading is all about what do they see when they look into your eyes? Okay, so it'll be really in depth and I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be using a whole bunch of modalities. All right, including I will be channeling and doing letter tiles toward the end. I'll be putting the letter tiles here, but that'll be toward the end, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just say a little um, connection prayer to spirit to get us started. So spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile one collective, all about the question at hand, spirit. And spirit, please speak through me as you always do. Thank you, spirit. All right, so I'm just going to sound the sound bowl. That's a really good way to clear the energies. It's also a great way to connect with spirit. All right, so spirit, please let us know what do they see when they look into the eyes of my pile one collective. Whoa, oh my gosh, I already have cards flying all over the place. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, what do they see when they look into the eyes of my pile one? What do they see when they look into the eye their eyes? Whoa, my gosh, I keep dropping cards. This is crazy. Just a moment. Okay. I always shuffle until I get like, you know, like a tingling sensation in my solar plexus or cards fly out. Okay, so we got the vision and the storm. Okay, these are really pretty cards. This is the Wild Unknown Archetypes deck by Kim Kranz. I'm also going to be using the... Carolyn Mace archetype cards because I haven't used those in a while and I think they add a lot of richness to the readings. 
What do they see when they look into the eyes of my pile one? We got child wounded. This one is really standing out to me too. Shape shifter. This is very interesting so far. What I'm doing is um, I'm laying them down and that way I can get a good overall picture. <clears throat> um, and we'll go from there, okay? I'm also gonna be using my Unity deck. This is a deck that I created using my own digital art. And um, it's really fun because with this deck, anybody can read tarot. It has all the meanings in the corners. So if you're interested in getting a deck for yourself or for a loved one, you can find a link to my Etsy shop in my description box below. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So when people look into your eyes, when they look into your eyes, they see somebody who has the ability to triumph. You also have the ability to almost like, I don't know, kind of like block out things you don't, you don't want to hear about. You're very, very good at like blocking things out. Okay. So they kind of, they can see that like, you know, they look into your eyes and they can kind of see that like you have been a bit wounded. Maybe there's like a sadness that you kind of carry in your eyes. Maybe you um, thought that was resolved or you feel, you felt like that it was resolved. Um, but what the cards are saying is that when they look into your eyes, they can see that um, you were in some sort of a dysfunctional relationship. This could have been um, as a child or this could have been... In a, as a dysfunctional um, adult relationship with a romantic partner. Um, but this little um, cube here shows somebody with headphones out, just or, uh, headphones on, just kind of blocking it all out. So like the person, when, when people look in your eyes, um, this could be like the special person on your mind when they look into your eyes or just like other people in general, they can see um, that you have been through something very hard because there's kind of like a sadness in your eyes and it gives you this, um, I'm hearing like supernatural power almost of being able to um, kind of block things out um, in a way that is good and in a, because it can be, you know, it can protect you. Um, but in another way, though, it's good to be introspective and to be able to dive deep into your shadow aspects. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that somehow inside of you, people can tell if you have some inner demons that you need to still work on, like some, you know, shadow aspects. Um, I love it when readings come out and they're all like, this, that, and the other that's super positive, but also I've got to be, you know, I got to keep it real with you guys, right? <laughs> I can't just like always be like super positive all the time. Like I have to keep it real when I see something in the cards. Um, I like to deliver messages that are true and honest, but also I like the, to deliver them in a way that is palatable. So hopefully you can uh, understand how I like to deliver messages with truth, but accuracy. Um, you are quite a visionary. We have here the vision with the owl, um, the sacred nature in the background. Um, people can tell that you're, you are <clears throat> somebody who is at peace. 
outside with nature. I'm hearing that um, Marin Morris song. Um, this is my church. I think that's what it's called. It's by Marin Morris. It's a great song. Um, it's a country song. You should really listen to it. People can tell that you you just kind of like belong in nature in a way. Like you're very at peace in nature, in the outdoors. Um, and um, you have like this wisdom about you that's inherent and innate within you with the owl present. You have two, actually you have two owls. And I'm seeing a picture of somebody literally with like a devil on one side and an angel on the other. And you have like this, almost like you have like this, hmm, how can I put this? You have, you're very in touch or in tune with what's right and what's wrong for you. Your inner compass really guides you and you allow your inner guidance system to guide you and um there's freedom in that and so people see that even though you've been through something terribly awful in the past um you're able to turn things around in such a way that like you can shift your focus and make things great actually for yourself and turn anything into a holy experience you're able to um capture the moment okay and find something good in it and use that as like almost like an expression of what you can learn from any given situation or experience so you're actually really wise beyond your years and people can see that when they look into your eyes they see a seer a sage a mystic okay somebody very very wise King of Wands is present here, as well as confidence here with this walk. This is the little cube that shows somebody walking with a lot of confidence. And the King of Wands is very confident. So even though you've been through some things and, you know, and everyone has, that's the thing. And you know that, um, that everyone has been, you know, everyone bears their own cross, proverbial cross. Um, and... And these things are just, these are hardships that we all have to encounter to different various degrees, but you really don't let it get you down. Um, you know, if, if it crops up, I think you're good at like facing it or pushing it down if you don't want to deal with it, which, you know, like I said in the beginning, that can be a great coping mechanism. Um, it allows you to put on a happy face, go about your day, your life, and it allows you to really be who you want to be. I think that for many of you, you really have gotten in touch with the many aspects that you are because you are, you're really, really multidimensional as a person, as a soul, as a being. You have many sides to you and you have um, a very rich soul lineage that cascades through time and space through many dimensions. I wouldn't say that you are just one lineage i would say that you have many you have had many incarnations in different dimensions throughout time and space that you're not even aware of fully and it's it's been tough for you i think in this earth plane because it's been dense the density here the heaviness it can be all too much i think that does show in your eyes you are very deep okay and people can get lost in your eyes Sometimes that scares the shit out of people. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes people get lost in your eyes. They feel like a copious amount of fear because it's like outer space. It's like this, em not emptiness, but vastness. Okay. Um, eternalness. Okay. And so much depth that it's hard to comprehend. And I think that you've been highly misunderstood throughout your life. But in romantic relationships, I think that you know, you encounter a lot of people that need that healing, that light. And so in the past, yes, you might have um, attracted some um, interesting people that really needed a lot of healing because we got the judgment here. Um, they needed your help. Here we have depicted uh, somebody that can't quite reach something on the top, top shelf. 
And the judgment here is about um, somebody who needs healing. So you've been helping people, other people with healing, um, whether you knew it or not. Um, you've been very, very helpful. And, you know, it's taken its toll on you in some degree. But like I said, for the most part, you've moved on from it and you're doing a heck of a good job. Like I said, we all have our own hardships that we all have to get through. Everybody at some point in time is going to be put to the test. If you're here on this earth plane, you're going to be tested. But you have shown great strength. And in your eyes, people admire your great strength and what you've been through. Um, we've got the storm here and cutting up a letter. Like literally cutting up a piece of paper. So that tells me that in your eyes, people see, you know how they say you can you can sense when a storm is coming um you can almost smell it your senses your you have literally like spider senses you're so good at like sniffing out people's baloney or like if people are looking shady af you're good at you are really good at scoping that out you know if people are some are people who tend to gravitate toward chaos or like drama and stuff and you do avoid that so um you know you're not afraid to cut ties with people that are pests i guess like energetic pests that just want to be like an energetic vampire and like drain you you're just like a lot smarter than that you're above it and when they look people look in your eyes they can tell that you're stronger than just to, to fall for a bunch of lies or strong, stronger than you even think. Like, they can sense your strength and the fact that, um, yeah, they can even see, like, they can't see the vastness of the amount of tests you've had, but they can tell you've been um, tested. And... I was hearing like some of you could have brought up with like the hellfire and brimstone um, drilled into you and um, you you rose above that too. Um, there were some real weird ideas or ideologies that could have been um, instilled into your mind at a young age and I feel like you just said like this is BS. I'm not subscribing to those ideologies like you have an inner wisdom that goes beyond the confines of the four walls of a church or so-called church you are the kind of person that you're such a, a wise soul you know that um like church can be anywhere um sitting on a rock out in nature is your church you know or sitting under the stars on a blanket um looking up at the stars is is a church to you and people can really tell this that you've worked hard to create this um, life for yourself, this mindset, and you're proud to be who you are. So in some ways, when they look at you, they can see that, yes, you've been through a lot. And part of that has created a wisdom in you. But also you carry these, these bits of wisdom through lifetimes, many, many lifetimes that spanned through the universe and time itself and the fabric of reality and you understand the different aspects of reality um okay this is very deep you all are very deep my pile one and i really didn't expect all that but um it's fun i hope you're enjoying it too let's get the charms and see what else we can get Some of you may have had like a past life regression and you already know or are aware of some of your past lives um, on other planes or even on the earth plane. Um, I heard Hermes tries Megastus. Some of you um, were like magi in a different life. Yeah, you're wide awake. Your eyes are wide open. Your third eye is wide, op wide open. We've got the moon here. The peace sign, the elephant, okay, the key, 
the Pegasus, Capricorn energy, and a star and a leaf. So, in your eyes, people can see that you just want peace. You just want everyone to get along. And you're not a stagnant individual. People can see that you really do want to grow. You want to evolve so you can be the very best version of yourself. But not only for selfish reasons, but also because you want to make a difference while you're here um, during this earth school. So you want to make a difference and people can tell that about you. You're very honest. People can tell that you are a giver. Just by looking into your eyes, they can tell that you, you, sometimes maybe you give too much. You're very giving. Your eyes reveal how much of a big heart you have. Even though you may try to protect this heart, um, it really does shine through. Your light really shines through. You have a magical kind of vibe about you with the Pegasus, and you just look very intelligent as well. You could be looking at the world through spectacles. Um, I'm seeing that some of you do have spectacles or wear contacts, um, but that doesn't mean that's for everybody. But I just feel like if if you don't wear glasses or contacts, uh, you're just very, very learned, very intelligent, and you like to continuously learn things. Continuously. So because we have here the leaf, and what do leaves do? They grow. Right? So that's my symbol for growth. But also if you think about the intricacies of a leaf and how amazing it truly is on a microscopic level, it's insane. Um, and this just tells me that like you have a real depth of character to you. You understand the inner workings of reality. You understand like that there's miracles everywhere we look. And you don't take life for granted. That's the thing. Like, you don't take anything for granted. Um, you have appreciation and gratitude in, in your eyes. But also your eyes do hold many secrets because we got the moon here. And if people are lucky enough to look in your eyes, they do feel very lucky to have gazed into the... Abyss of the universe, the knowledge, the depth that is in your eyes. I know that might sound corny, but that's, but that's how it seems with your eyes. It's like the, it's like literally gazing up at the stars. And when people look into your eyes, they almost can see the, their own answers to their really long awaited questions or long asked questions, long awaited answers to burning questions they've always had in their hearts. All right, so what I would like to do is I would like to get into the channeling portion where I will be setting out some letter tiles and seeing what we can get as far as specific messages um, related to this topic about what do people see when they look into your eyes or what are your eyes revealing to them. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll um, pause the camera and I'll clean up the area and then I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. I'm going to lay out the letter tiles. So Spirit, please help me to choose the correct letter tiles that will reveal my pile one's initials or maybe even their their first, middle, or last name or all of their name, their first, middle, and last name. If um, all of the letters are there except one, it does still count and you can duplicate letters if you need to. I'm just going to be channeling as well. I may say a few names um, if Spirit gives me some names, if I feel called to. Okay. And I may say your name or I may not. This is all just for extra confirmation. Just keep that in mind. If you don't see your initials or your name um, or I don't say your name, it's okay. It doesn't mean this isn't your pile. It just It's just meant for extra confirmation. Okay. But you can always try one of the other piles for just for fun. Okay. Okay. I am seeing Iran. So somebody that that could be you that's from Iran or you may have um, roots or or heritage or something like that. Um, maybe you traveled to Iran or um, something like that. You could know somebody near and dear to you who um, lives in Iran or something like that. Okay. But that is coming through. Um, like I said, th these are not all going to apply to you. Take what you like and leave the rest. Um, it's meant to give you like a little hint, fun little hint and clue, um, and to allow, um, spirit to confirm things for you. Okay. But with general readings, it's not all going to resonate. Okay. Um, Buenos Aires. I was hearing Buenos Aires. I really don't know what that means, but I was hearing Buenos Aires. Okay. So that could be a place or maybe a word in Spanish. I'm not sure. And if I just don't sound that intelligent about geography, it's because I'm really, I'm really not that good at geography. Um, just to put that out there. <laughs> I'm great at tarot, not good with geography. And that's okay. I was hearing Venezuela, Alabama, I was hearing Salem. Some of you um, could live in Salem or, you know, somewhere in Massachusetts. Or you could have had a past life in Salem, uh, witch trials, that kind of thing. Okay, so keep that in mind. Some of the names that I'm getting is Randy or Randall. Okay, I may say your father's name. I could say your brother's name. I may say names of people you know just to let that be a confirmation. George, um, Rita, Brandy, Vina, Vanit, Violet. Quinn, Carly, Carlos, Cameron, Ozzy, Peggy, Hector, Katya, Vanessa, Phoebe. I was hearing Tito. Tito. Benicio. Ruben. Sage. Diane. Indigo. Raya, Ace, Ol 
Omari, Lily, Celine or Selena. I was hearing um, Coco, that could be like a nickname, Coco, Lara, Mara, Lorraine, Bill. I was also hearing Bangladesh, Bangladesh. Okay, I was hearing foster. Some of you could be foster parents, okay? Or you maybe you were a foster child. Something like that, because I was hearing foster, okay? Like I said, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Um, some of you collect... Um, you have a whole collection of rocks or gemstones. I'm seeing that. For some of you, you have a big collection of rocks and gemstones. And some of you are really into antiques. Um, this could be antique furniture or antique or vintage clothing. But you really um, have an honor or respect for old items. Some of you seem to attract a lot of older men or older women as partners. These older people really like you. Um, and it seems like you really value older people. You could even work with elderly, but you have a lot of respect for your elders for sure. Um, there's somebody's grandpa coming through here, actually. I'm seeing grandpa. So you could see your grandpa's name in here, as a matter of fact, or initials. There's some grandpa coming through here that was somebody who enjoyed either like a chewing tobacco or um, smoking something. Um, some kind of cigar or pipe or something is coming through here. And I'm seeing like a cross. So this person could have been in some kind of religion. Okay. Or brought up in some kind of really kind of strict religion. It doesn't have to be Christianity, but I was seeing a cross. So that's my sign for like religion. So let me know. Okay. This, yeah, this grandfather is looking out for you from the other side. And I see like him extending a rose to you. Um for true love, for love, everlasting love, and protection as well. There's an, a promise of protection and love. And also, I was hearing happy birthday. So it is, somebody's got a birthday real soon, either you or a family member, okay? Because this grandfather is handing and extending a rose to you. Uh... I'm seeing slow down. So the message from this ancestor is slow down, enjoy life a little bit more. Um, maybe put the, put the devices away from time to time. Um, take a nice warm shower. Let the water cascade down your body and just wash away the day. And then lie down and meditate and really get get in like the mode of doing this at least once a day for even if it's just five, 10 or 15 minutes, but slow down. Take that time to really just slow down, okay? That's what this elder's message is for you, is to slow down because I'm hearing in my day and age, we didn't have all these, these newfangled gadgets and all this. We just did, you know, we just did this and that. We just went, that's how they, it was like, I'm hearing somebody say, like, in my day, we did this, so 
<laughs> it's adorable actually this person's energy is very cute um and a little bit um feisty but just an, a very nice um grad grandpa type of energy um and I do think this grandfather was very good and gifted with his hands. Very gifted. Spirit, are there any other messages that you want to bring through for my Pile 1 Collective? Find yourself. I was hearing find yourself and the treasure within. So the message from Spirit is to find yourself by going within. So maybe that's why it said slow down. Because by slowing down and going within, you can discover so much of yourself and who you really are. And you'll be able to not only discover, but remember who you are. And you are so much even more special and important than you even realize. Thank you so much for tuning in, my pal one. If you enjoyed today's reading, please hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't yet. And I would love to hear your comments. So please let me know if this resonated with you. And if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. Um, you can check out my information below for information about how to go about getting a personal reading with me. So... Um, also, if you enjoy um, uncensored love readings, I do those on my Patreon. So there's a link to my Patreon in my description box below. But it is for 18 plus uncensored love readings. So only join that if you like those types of readings, okay? Um, what else? Oh yes, if you would like to donate to my channel... Uh, it's never expected, but it's always appreciated. It helps me to buy things like sage, um, gemstones, tarot cards, or anything else I need for the channel. So that's never expected, but it's always appreciated. And I hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your day or the evening or night or whenever you're watching this. And feel free to watch however many of the other piles that you were drawn to. Take care and... Stay beautiful and blessed. Bye. Hello and welcome. So if you chose image two or this rose quartz, you're in the right place for today's pick a card. It's going to be all about what do they see when they look into your eyes. Okay, so it's going to be very, very in-depth. And I'm going to be using all kinds of different modalities today. So I'm just going to take a moment and connect with spirit and bring in spirit, okay? So spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile to collective. All about the question at hand, spirit, and please speak through me. Thank you, spirit. So now I'm just going to light a little bit of sage and bring in some positivity and protection. I'm going to be using my unity oh wow did you see that i literally just like went like that and, and the card already flew out <laughs> i'll keep it all right i'm using my unity deck oh my gosh cards just want to keep coming out for y'all i'm using my unity deck which is a deck that i created using digital art it's my own unique artwork and um i love this deck and uh you can also get a deck of your own if you go to my Etsy shop. There's a link in my description box. Um, so yeah, if you've always wanted to read tarot or you know how to read tarot already, but you just enjoy this deck, it's a great little deck. It has all of the meanings in the upper and lower corners and um, divination in the bottom right as well. Wow, we've got Three of Swords, Knight of Cups... And the Page of Wands. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wow. We've got Leo. 
Libra. Okay, Leo and Libra. What other signs? These are potential signs, but also energies that you carry with you. Oh, wow. Okay, Scorpio. And then this one, actually, I grabbed that by accident. That's Neptune. That's for, like, it stands for, like, I dream. Um, you have dreamy eyes, okay? Very hypnotic eyes. One more. Scorpio. So that's double for the Scorpio. Not only that, but Knight of Cups is present in the center here. You could very well be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. We got Pisces too. Lots of water in your energy. So when people look in your eyes, they see a lot of depth. Because like the ocean, the ocean floor, it's way, way down, right? And you know what else is unique about the ocean floor? Is there's so many cool forms of life down there that hasn't even been discovered. And I feel like that's how people feel when they look at you in your eyes. It's like there's so much to discover about you. And there's always more to discover about you. Even if somebody has been your partner for like 5 or 10 years or even 20, they still could just not know everything about you. You really do have so much depth. I think that even you surprise yourself sometimes with how deep you are and what you can actually discover about yourself. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? We had this in pile one and of all these cards, look at all of these cards that came out again. So you could have actually watched pile one and you came to pile two to watch too. Um, that's cool. Or you know what? Maybe this is a message from Spirit saying, that you should watch pile one if you were drawn to pile one at all. Because there's a similarity here. Oh my goodness. The forest. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you watched pile one, you know darn well what this is saying. Um, in pile one, we had the song um, by Maris, Marin Morris come up, My Church. Um, and this is a song about finding church wherever you are. You're like a holy person. You can literally find church anywhere. You don't have to be confined in four walls for that to be like a spiritual experience for you. So when people look into your eyes, they see depth, they see, they see deep wisdom, they see spirituality that like goes on for eons. It's like you bring with you a depth of a richness that, um tells a lot of stories about many lifetimes, not just this present one, but many, many lifetimes. And, and, the, and I think too, that you could have been a religious teacher or even possibly some kind of a religious figure in um, a previous lifetime. And that a lot of people see that, that in you, if they're very astute, if they're very perceptive, they can see that in your eyes, that you were in a previous life, you were like a holy one, a spiritual teacher a magician something like that you know what i mean like a magi or something i was hearing majesty so maybe there's like some of you could have had like a an experience as like um uh what is it like the person who interprets the dreams of the king or like um somebody who who maybe you were royalty i'm not sure or you could have been like a spiritual mentor to the royalty so Anyways, there's a lot of depth to you, um, my pile too. And you know what else too? When people look in your eyes, they can see that like you're such a caring person. You look around the world today and when you see things that you don't like, it literally breaks your heart. You have such a big heart for like other people's problems. You're very um, empathetic. You can go into a room and literally feel the pain of people, even strangers. Um, you, you can cry very easily, okay? Um, you may be that kind of person that just feels so much. You feel everything. Your intensity is out of this world, quite literally. Like, your energy is very, um, otherworldly. And, yeah, you have so much unique depth to you. With Leo coming here, I mean, you don't really have to be a Leo to um, to understand and really be able to grasp what I'm about to say. 
um, you could just capture the essence of a Leo. So Leos are pretty fabulous. I think each sign is cool in their own way. But with Leo coming out here with this unique combination, this is really cool because this makes you, this takes you a step further and gives you the, the confidence that you need to be able to walk into a room and have everybody look at you and just ask questions like, who the heck is that? <laughs> and they also want to talk to you. There's like people when they look at you and they look into your eyes, they want to know more about you because you seem very interesting in your eyes that your eyes tell a story of where you've been in your life. Um, all of the things that you've learned, okay, which is just a plethora of many different types of things. And some of you, you have such, um, a unique path that you've walked in this lifetime so far. And you have like a lot of, yeah, unique Leo vibes, even if you are not a Leo. So what do I mean by that? Well, you have a lot of fabulosity, okay? Um, you're just like, you You know that song, the party don't start till I walk in. Don't stop, <laughs> that one. Um, I do not know who sings that, but that's what I was literally hearing as like the theme. When you walk into a room, the heads all turn and everyone looks at you. You literally look like some kind of goddess or or God like walked into a room. I know that might sound kind of like cliche or silly to say, or like, I'm just fluffing up your feathers, but I am, I am just honestly delivering it how I hear it from spirit. And spirit was telling me, putting that song into my head. And I literally saw you walking into a room and everybody's head turning. You probably get a lot of people looking at you. And when you look at them, they look away. Okay. Um, you may be wondering, like, why are people staring at me? Like, what, WTF, right? Well, you have the heartbreaker energy about you because in some ways you have to almost know you really well for you to divulge your heart. And so, um, people can look into your eyes and yes, they can sense there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of depth, but also you have the ability to, like cut deeply. I know that sounds funny because it's almost like, well, how can that be? How can that be that such a loving, empathic, um, spiritual person could ever cut so deeply when, or if you wanted to, you simply could do this. You, you can be very cunning or calculating if you want to be. Um, I am sensing like swords energy here, even though, um, well, yeah, we've got the, we have the Libra, but I was really picking up like heavy Gemini and Aquarius as well, because Libra is, you know, it's more of the fairness and that kind of thing. But, um, it can also be like, I mean, it is an air sign. Any of the air signs can be quite, you know, quick to cut people out of their life. Your cutoff game is strong and... You're very choosy about who you want to spend your energy, your time, energy and time on and with. And people can tell this in your eyes that you have a low threshold or low tolerance for BS. And I feel too that there's like a some sense of intimidation. Um, you literally could have people get so damn nervous when they look at you that they could like trip, okay, run into walls, um, I don't know if I've ever told you you guys this story, but one time uh, there was a, a gentleman that was on a bicycle and all I did, I was, I was like riding in a car. I rolled my window down and I just simply like looked out the window and he literally ran his bicycle into a, a telephone pole. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's what, so Spirit was giving me that image. I mean, you make people do stupid ass shit because they're so distracted and not only that, it, like intimidated in a way, they lose their train of thought and they can, they can act very weird um, in your presence. So that is coming through really, really strong here for you, my pile three or pile two. It's because you have this like heartbreaker energy. You're very attractive, 
with the the leo is very very attractive but the leo sagittarius and aries as far as the the suit of wands here is very very attractive um they're known for their level of attractiveness in the tarot okay so your level of attractiveness even if you are not a wands or you know um fire sign is still very very attractive um you could be very ripped okay or just very well built like if you are you know into like lift, lifting weights you could be very ripped um or just seem very healthy and um even i was getting like some of you could be very chiseled um like your jawline could be very chiseled especially if you have a lot of um masculinity and um that's just for my masculines out there but for my feminines who really embody that femininity you have power <laughs> okay you have a lot of feminine power to almost like i'm saying like wrapping people around your your little finger okay and you would never take advantage of that because i don't think you're that type of person you're such a good person but like other people could, would do that if they were in your shoes but like i see you as having that kind of power okay so when people look at you they get intimidated in a way or they get scared because they know that you could have power over them like seductive power um major like siren energy it's almost like an element of danger like some people are almost like involved or too afraid to get involved with you because they don't want to get their heart broken um stomped on <laughs> like i don't know I, I was even hearing like shredded I don't think you would do this on purpose, but I think that sometimes people just can fall in love with you too easily. And that is actually not your fault. It's not like you're asking for it, you know? So that's all very interesting. What else do people see in my pal two's eyes, spirit? I was hearing gone with the wind. Okay. Um there's a like a woman in that gone with the wind and she kind of has this blase attitude she doesn't really um she acts very independent so you could act very independent with your nature and yet be one of those people that it's like you're hard to pin down but once you do you're such a treasure to behold but that's why i think a lot of um people can be intimidated by you when they look into your eyes because they're it's like they look at you and they already feel like oh I am yours <laughs> like I belong to you they want to belong to you and that's why you got the heartbreaker energy okay what else spirit lover I cannot make this up yes and we have Scorpio and Pisces here too so that's water that's water energy even if you are not a water sign you embody that watery energy which water in the tarot is the cups and cups are symbolic of love um and you're very loving i see here too people when they look at you they you make them just smile naturally you may get strangers that just smile at you and or like you know wave at you it's just like they'll show you pleasantries and stuff or like you know do little favors for you like maybe paying it forward buying you a cup of coffee or paying for your lunch or just holding a door open for you but i see that people want to do favors for you when they see when they see you and especially when they look in your eyes they see such a genuine person um i was hearing will you be my valentine so there could be somebody very specific that is hoping to be your valentine this year you make people want to be passionate with you. You make people want to be devoted to you when they look in your eyes. You bring out an unbridled sense of appreciation and passion. Okay. You also make people obsessed with you. I am not going to lie. You make people's obsessive passions come to life. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a picture in my mind of somebody like clipping a, a little piece of your hair and like putting it away in a in a little box or something like i know that sounds weird but i think that there's at least some somebody out there who who's like saving little scraps like if you let's say you write 
wipes something on a napkin or something this person still has the napkin from like five years ago you know what I mean like little things you do it's kind of like okay and I, I'll tell you why I say that there's this thing that I think it was Harry Styles threw up in a trash can right and that sounds disgusting but hear me out everybody goes to the site where he like threw up in this trash can and they kind of like have made this into a shrine okay then people will gather around it and take photos and like just to see where he threw up in this trash can it's kind of become like um a, a big deal <laughs> i'm not kidding you can google it if you don't believe me but that's what i mean like people kind of idolize you and um yeah there's some people that become so obsessed with you that like they'll hold on to every any little thing um of yours okay so then we got messiah oh my gosh i cannot make this up it's like they it's like you almost make people want to worship you in some ways and serve you that's what i was saying earlier it's like you make people want to do things for you <laughs> yeah like i was saying like okay so you have the power to wrap people around your little finger not that you ever would do that but it's like people want to do this to you naturally just because of who you are and how you are um not that you asked for it but look at this like people almost treat you like a, a messiah like a god or goddess oh my gosh yeah that is crazy all right let's see what else what else spirit Tell us more, please, spirit. Ooh. This is interesting. So I'm already seeing that there's there could be somebody overseas that actually is thinking about you obsessively. This could be somebody that you knew a while ago that moved overseas or they're overseas in the military or something like that. But there's somebody overseas who is thinking about you or this person, um is far far away from you and thinking about you whoever this is they're still in love i was hearing that song um i'm so in love i don't know who sings that um <laughs> maybe boys to man i i'm not sure i'd have to look it up but yeah so in love are we too just can't wait to be with you i'm so in love all right, if you know who that is, please put that in the um, in the description or in the um, comment section. You like give the spark of life to people. You get people excited, um, turned on. Okay, very turned on. You make people almost want to fight for you. Oh my gosh! You know what's coming to me right now? In Camelot, Guinevere was so excited. She was almost like. <laughs> yeah almost like turned on with excitement at thinking about all the knights fighting in her honor fighting for her fighting each other for her in her honor um if you haven't seen camelot um you got to see that movie it's it's so good especially it's an older one i can't remember but i think it's like from the 70s um i think richard harris is the king anyway such a good movie but yeah so you make people want to like fight for you fight for your love um impress you you get people that when they look at your eyes they see somebody who i don't know who they think would be like impressed if they were to um show off a little bit you could get a, you could attract a lot of show offs people that um like to be silly around you or like to flex their muscles around you or whatever they can do to get your attention okay now some people look at you and they don't feel good enough like they measure up as so we have here a little man and a big man big tall man and the big tall man is looking down there being like hello is anyone down there and the little man's like waving like I'm here, I'm here, and it's kind of an interesting dynamic because, yeah, I feel that, like, when people 
look into your eyes and they feel so tiny or like so small like um that they don't somehow measure up to you this is a backpack um you could be a traveler okay or you like to travel you seem very um knowledgeable about other cultures you seem very knowledgeable about um about life about lots of different things so yeah another thing that this is making me think of too other than like your worldly knowledge and your spiritual knowledge when people look into your eyes they see that you you don't like to carry around a lot of stress you like to be a carefree person they can kind of tell that you have like a whimsy whimsical sort of nature about you um kind of like fairy vibes in a way or elemental vibes about you you have like a more of a playful happy nature um you don't really like to stay in the morose or um like i don't know macabre kind of mindset even though with that scorpio there you can venture into like the occult or the hidden or the unknown um or like the darkness but you don't like to dwell in the darkness it looks like you you can visit with the with that with those aspects but then you kind of like to thrive in the light and be more light-hearted and whimsical in your nature so this is very interesting to me and i don't know if that's ever really come up in a reading before quite like how i'm seeing it right now in my mind as far as your energy but you might have had to cultivate this kind of playfulness or whimsiness whimsical i don't know how to say that but um you could have had to have cultivated that because we do see the axe here so that means you've been working on this for a while and shaping who you are um not creating a persona per se but just like um almost like okay so here's the thing i'm seeing spirit is showing me a statue right and basically when every statue starts out as a a cube of um, marble right and the great masters would just chisel away at the uh, marble or whatever the you know me medium was uh, usually it was marble and they would just chip away at it okay and then it would reveal the statue it was already in there okay they just would chip away until it was revealed what was already in there so that's kind of what spirit is showing me as far as like kind of being synonymous with your um your journey of finding yourself self-discovery like you this is who you always were and you just had to uncover uh and sort through what's truth and what's not truth to find who you really are and who you've always been and it was it's a beautiful discovery of finding yourself and your journey is beautiful so when people see look in your eyes they can see that it's almost like they can see that beautiful journey and i think that um it takes a very special individual to be able to really see that in your eyes but um this would be indefinitely like a cl very close friend or or lover who could be able to see that or somebody who's very very psychically um astute we have here the circus tent so that does come with like a lot of playful type of energy you could also be in the entertainment business um maybe you are i don't know you could be in the spotlight okay you could be somehow uh socially uh on some kind of platform or you could be some kind of entertainer maybe you're in a band you, maybe you perform you could be a performer a musician a dancer because I'm seeing somebody on stage um, if you're not you really do have a potential for that and when people look in your eyes they see so much like potentiality for you to actually be on some type of platform we have the rain and the boiling pot for some of you, you're just kind of thinking or toying with the idea of getting into the entertainment industry or opening up or starting your own YouTube channel or something like that. And that could be in the works. Um, and Spirit is just encouraging you to take that step forward if that is something that you really want to go for and pursue. Okay? For those of you who want to be 
be in the spotlight or in some kind of capacity. Um, yeah, be out where you can be seen. I just heard, I believe in you. So that's awesome. I'm hearing that song, I believe, I believe, I believe in you with Celine Dion and El Devo. So you may want to look up that song because I'm sensing very strongly that your guides are wanting you to hear that song and they do believe in you. They believe in you and your dreams and whatever you want to manifest. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to lay down some letter tiles here and I'm going, going to begin channeling. I'm going to be saying things that um, may apply to you and some of them may not. And I say that because it's a general reading and I'm going to be channeling. So whenever I channel for general readings, maybe only one or two things will be for you. Okay, for instance, I could say where you live. I could say your occupation. I could literally say your name, first, middle, or last. I could say your your best friend's name, your brother's name, your sister's name, your parents' names, or just names of people you work with, or names of people you know, to let you know that this is definitely your pile, because I like to do those confirmations, and I know that many of you do enjoy those confirmations, so that's why I like to do this segment for you all. Basically, I want you to have fun and enjoy the process, okay? But don't be um, discouraged if I don't say your name and don't uh, be discouraged if you don't get, uh, even if you, I mean, I, I think you'll get at least one out of this, but if you don't get any, anything out of this part, let it just, you know, don't, don't think that this was not your reading. This is just meant to be a confirmation, okay? Hopefully though, my intention is that something, at least one thing will resonate with you. You could maybe see your initials or your name spelled out in here or something like that. Okay. So I guess I will start by saying some names because Spirit is already telling me some names. Um, I was hearing Kira, Kiera, and Keegan. Fabian, Fabio, Latrice. Clarence, Clarissa, Claire, Rita, Ritza, Rosaria, or Rosario, Rosario, I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. It sounds like Rosario. I know that sounds funny, but that's what I was hearing. Lance, Christoph or Christopher, Juniper, I love that, Juniper, Precious, Angie, Ashton, Arlene or Arlena, Dar, Darless, Star, Star, Anne, Anna, Lori, Lauren, Laura, Lainey, Linda, Vern, Gertie, Putri, Bristol, that could be a last name, Sam, Sammy, Kendra, Conrad, Esther, Cheyenne, Sharon, Nicole, Taryn, Torin, Felicia, Alyssa, Alan, Alec, Alexis, Rory, Shiva, I've never heard that name, but I'm hearing Shiva, 
Devante or Devante. I think it's Devante. Okay, I was hearing Devante. Devante. Anna, Anna, something, Anna, I don't know, Annalise, Annalise, that's a pretty name, and I don't know if I've, I haven't heard that in a long time, but yeah, I was hearing Annalise, pretty, pretty name, Bridget, Hallie, Mitchell, Mike or Michael, and I'm just gonna say a few more, okay? Tony, Katiana, or Katiana, Katie, I heard cadet, cadet, I don't know, that could be like a military thing, military reference, Arnell, Arnell, Kiki, I was here in Venice. You could be from Venice or Italy. You could be Italian. Okay, what else, Spirit? Um, hmm. You could be from Germany. You could be uh, a baker or a chef. Your beauty is important to you. Both inner and outer. You may really like dolphins, whales, We've got the diamond here. I'm seeing that um, Shine Bright Like a Diamond by Rihanna. Also the Willie Spence version, my favorite version. Shine Bright Like a Diamond. If you haven't heard that Willie Spence version, you really gotta look that up. Rest in peace. Yeah, he actually, he was a contestant on America's Got Talent. He sadly passed away. He was one of my favorites. Really ama amazing and talented soul. Such a sweet soul. Willie Spence. So listen to that song if you feel inclined. Um, shine bright like a diamond. That's how you are. You shine bright like a diamond. You're a very spiritual person. Very connected to the divine. Leo energy coming through. Again, Leo, Leo. Oh, that's cancer. Never mind. Cancer. Okay, so cancer meaning like the home is important to you. Memories are important to you. Um, capturing moments is important to you. You could like to journal, take pictures. Yeah, your family, your true family that you love and care about is important to you. Sometimes your true family is your friends. It just depends. Um, it's not always blood related and the cherries um, just means you're you're very sweet um, but with cherries you got you get some that are sweet and sour so like a diamond you're multifaceted you have many sides to you you're not just sweet but you're not I don't know but you're not completely sour you're your mixture that's so perfect. I mean, who wants to eat just completely sweet cherries all the time? Or you ever had like a batch of extremely sweet, sweet berries without any little bit of sourness? I don't know. To me, it's kind of boring. I like to have a little bit of a mixture. You're fun like that. You're a mixture of like a little bit of sweet and a little bit of sour. You can have a spiciness and you bite back. I don't know. I think that you're fun and you're never boring. And that's why people like you. When people look in your eyes, they see that you're like a good luck charm. All right, let's do some more channeling. This is fun. Hopefully you're having fun with this too. If so, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, 
the name Eunice is coming up here too. Or Uni. Uni. You could really like unicorns as well. Um, I'm also seeing that you could like these stuffed animals. Um, they're like just very round. Maybe you collect stuffed animals. I'm seeing somebody here with like stuffed animals. They're very cute. Um... Lori. Lori? I don't know. I was hearing Lori Alexander. I don't know what that means, but um, I was hearing that. Um, some of you really love to dine out, go to restaurants, because I was hearing chicken fried rice. <laughs> some of you are foodies. You really love food. Um, and cinemas. You really love movies, whether that be you know Netflix uh, and chilling at home or going to the theater but you really love movies uh, maybe you really love acting um, something here about yeah you could be like into acting or yeah interesting you have a beautiful face so you're easy on the eyes you seem to um you seem to be very friendly. Only certain people would be intimidated by your glow. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why. This is totally random, but I was hearing... I was, I was seeing Mary from Little House on the Prairie. You know how she went kind of blind? Well, she did go blind um, in the show. And yet, she was able to overcome that adversity in her life. And she ended up going on to have a, a pretty decent life uh, as a blind individual. So, Spirit, why are you bringing this through? Please answer me that. Um, because spirit is saying that you have overcome something huge recently and spirit is just saying how proud of you that spirit is of you because you've maybe you never thought you'd come this far and look at look at how far you've come spirit is saying and spirit's giving you a big hug and a pat on the back saying look how far you've come did you believe it? Could you believe in yourself? Obviously you did because look look at where you are right now and look at how far you've come and don't don't measure your success by what other people say, those around you, but measure yourself based on how far you've come. That's what spirit is showing me. Because yeah, when when Mary in Little House lost her sight, that was very difficult for her. She got angry. And she got angry with the whole world and she didn't even really want to talk to her family anymore. She kind of shut down and they kind of had to like force her in a way to like snap out of it. They were compassionate, but they also kind of wanted her to just like snap out of it and move on with her life. And she, she had to combat that anger and stuff like that, but she was able to get over it. And she had a series of unfortunate events happen in her life, but she was still able to smile and to, to try to be grateful for all the good things that were happening in her life. And I feel like that's why Spirit is bringing that through is because Spirit is proud of you for going through all the hard adversities that you've gone through that has actually helped you to become the beautiful, magnificent creature that you are. I was hearing Sweet Creature by Harry Styles sweet creature you are very loved and lovable spirit is saying all right i probably could go on and on <laughs> i'm always having so much fun doing this um i hope that you enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't yet and please like this video and leave me a comment i would love to get your feedback also if you'd like a personal reading i do offer those all the info you need to know is in my description box below. And if you would like to join my Patreon, that would be awesome. I would love to have you there. It's for 18 plus uncensored love reading. So um, if you're interested in that type of reading, 
please join me over there. All my info for that is in the description box below. And if you would like to donate to my channel, um, feel free to check out the info in my description box below and it'll let you know all the details about how you can donate to my channel. Like I said, it's never expected, but always appreciated. All right. Um, take care and, uh, feel free to watch any of the other piles you were drawn to and, uh, stay beautiful and blessed until next time. Bye. Hello and welcome. So if you chose image three or this green adventuring, you're in the right place for today's pick a card. Today's pick a card reading is going to be really fun. It's going to be all about what do people see when they look into your eyes? Okay. So this could be just the general people out there or your special person. Okay, so I'm going to connect with spirit and then we'll begin. Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 3 Collective. All about the questions at hand. And Spirit, please speak through me. Thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to light some sage and bring in light, positivity, peace, and protection into this space. All right. So I will be rolling astro dice to see if I can get your um, your specific sun, moon, or ascendant sign. Um, also, if I do not get your sun, moon, or ascendant sign, I'm just going to be letting you know about your overall energies. And this is going to help me when looking into um, what do people see when they look into your eyes, okay? So I'm going to be using all kinds of different modalities for this reading. I'm going to be using tarot cards, oracle cards. Um, whatever spirit calls me to use, okay, in the moment. So we've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Aries, and Aries, double Aries, and Pisces. So you could have those in your chart, big three, sun, moon, or ascendant, or just embody the energies. <clears throat> So Pisces and Scorpio are water signs, and Aquarius is an air sign, and then um, uh, Aries is a fire sign. So you have quite a combination of uniqueness. You have your very own unique sense of style and uh, um, a very unique stamp about you that sets you apart from other people. That's very, very, um, I want to say eminent or evident coming through, uh, shining through your eyes and shining very brightly. Your originality, you're a one of a kind, you're very unique. You get a lot of people that think very positive things about you when they look at you, even though they may not speak them out loud. They're, um, this is the card that speaks about getting a lot of accolades or attention or like, so in the um, standard rider weight, you'll see an image of somebody riding into town on a horse and people greeting this person with staffs and cheering that for them because they're coming into the town and they're welcoming. So that is all representative of like cheering. And so that's why I actually, um, well, this is my unity deck. I created this deck. So that's why I drew the clapping hands because that means like people are happy to see you. People want to like applaud you and like give you compliments and stuff when they look at your eyes, into your eyes. You make people just want to like open up to you and tell you something beautiful about you. Okay. You really light up a room. I just heard you really know how to light up a room. <laughs> Okay, maybe you get told that a lot. Queen of Pentacles is talking here about your down-to-earth type of nature and how you're very, you know, yeah, you're very good with money. You're very responsible. You seem like you're not the lofty type. You're somebody who has um, a grip on reality, okay? And... Even though you are you have a very inquisitive mind, you seem to be very stable-minded. So when people look, look you in the eyes, they can sense the stability about you. And you're like an anchor. Uh, many people um, 
like to kind of like latch on to you. Um, I was hearing savior. Some people would actually say you're their savior. Somebody would say that you saved their life. We got the Don Juan. So you're very, very attractive, okay? You have the power to seduce within your eyes and you make people want to be close to you physically. You also make people want to be close to you on a soul level. You, you have angelic attributes. You literally could be an earth angel. We also have lover. Wow, Pile 2 had that too. So, um, yeah, you're, you're a lover. You're a, a Don Juan type, like very, very uh, seductive. Um, even the way you move, it's very sexy. But when somebody like catches your eye contact, they're like, whoa, what just happened? And people can get quite carried away by your energy. People can daydream about your your type of energy and, and, and being in your presence. People fall in love with you quite easily. You're very creative with uh, the things you're doing in your life. And you're creative with your, um, your eye makeup. If you're doing um, eye makeup, there's something very creative you're doing with it. Different colors. Maybe you're trying different things with eyeliner. Like, I want to say avant-garde even. Some of you may be doing something very avant-garde. Um, some of you may be doing some kind of, thinking about doing some kind of facial modification or something. I'm seeing like, um, henna, henna freckles. I don't know why I'm seeing, but like I'm seeing like henna tattooed freckles or something like that. You could like to like paint on freckles. I don't know why I was getting that for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody, but, um, yeah, so... Or like painting on a beauty mark or something like that. But um, anyway, it's cute. People notice that your style is very unique, very original, very one of a kind. But yet you have like an impeccable way about applying this. So if you are applying some kind of makeup or whatever to your face, you're doing a great job. It looks like very professional. Um, we've got the death card and look at this, the skull, which represents the same thing. So that's a double confirmation on the death. Now, is that a physical death? No, it's not a physical death. Some people see the death card and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, and they really freak out, which I can kind of understand why, because it looks kind of scary. It's got a picture of somebody in a coffin. It, it doesn't look the, the most positive, but it's a great card because it stands for transformative energies. Um, and yeah, it's really about stepping into a newness and um, a new phase. And letting go, letting go of the old you. So when people look into your eyes, they can see that you've really become some kind of massive light to this world. Like some kind of angel, I swear. Because look at this. You got somebody here in their coffin becoming an angel. And then we got the angel here. So I want to show you this. I'm going to bring this up to the camera a little bit. We've got the angel and the angel. Angel, angel. That rarely happens in a reading that we get a double confirmation on something like that. So that kind of gives me chills. Um, if you don't know what an earth angel is, I would definitely suggest you look it up because you're definitely radiating earth angel vibes. Um, you're very giving. You're very kind. You, you very rarely expect anything back in return. You just are very helpful. Um, highly misunderstood. And sometimes you may even feel like an outsider. But when people look into your eyes, they feel like, yeah, they feel like you saved them. Or you have the capacity to save them. You know how to reach inside of somebody's soul with your eyes. I know that might sound funny, but um, that's how deep and penetrative your glance can be on your look. It can send shivers down people's spine. Um, yeah. We also have the taco and the fork so that tells me that um you maybe you are a really good cook or you you love food you love to eat um you also carry your weight well if you are let's say you're like a, a plus size person you're carrying your weight really well spirit is saying um people think that your most beautiful attributes really truly are your eyes and your smile is what spirit is saying as well 
And the, oh, there's something very spiritual and sacred in your eyes. And you seem like you're very, very in touch with the divine. Okay. What else, spirit? I just, I'm hearing a Sam Smith song right now. And I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that. Um, oh, I know why I'm hearing that. Okay, so in one of his videos, now I am not promoting him in any way. I know, I know he's done some shady ass shit, um, but I do like some of his music from like a long time ago. I was hearing that one, um, Just Want Somebody to Die For, okay, is that what it's called? Just Want Somebody to Die For, that one. That is actually kind of a, an interesting, kind of cool song. It has, some of his songs are very cool. Um, some of his other behaviors, I can't say that I really like, but that song is coming through and, um, maybe it has some special meaning for you. That's that song. Okay. You are that special somebody that many people would almost like, almost like <laughs> not die for, but you know, they, they long for you or like dream or wish for you. Okay, the puzzle piece, that reminds me of somebody that could be on the autism spectrum. Just, you know what I mean, the autism spectrum disorder spectrum. So that could be you or somebody near and dear to you who could be on the spectrum. Okay, um, anyway, I just, it doesn't necessarily mean that for everybody, but if, if that's for you, um, then that's a special message for you that, you are so special and unique um the way that you were beautifully and wonderfully created okay that is coming through for somebody here that is watching this that may be on the spectrum that spirit just wanted to bring that message for you that, that through that you were beautifully and wonderfully made to be unique and very special um yeah and some of you maybe you were wondering if you were on the spectrum or something like that and and the chances are very high that you could be very high functioning um, on the spectrum, but that you would have to, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really diagnose, but this is just what spirit's bringing through for somebody out there with that puzzle piece there that is kind of leaning toward um, being on the spectrum, which a lot of people that are on the spectrum are very intelligent and extremely, extremely intelligent and also very creative. Now we've got this here, the, the pill. This tells me that like, it kind of reminds me of the matrix, the red pill, blue pill, you create your reality. Um, when people look into your eyes, they really do believe that you have the power and ability to like create your reality. You have the power and the ability to like make things happen. Your eyes are open. You seem very enlightened, okay? But also, I mean, there is a pill coming through here, so that could very well be that um, an indicator that um, some of you may be taking some kind of um, medication, okay, um, to help with, I don't know what I was hearing, like concentration or anxiety or something like that. Something like that. So let that be a confirmation to some of you. That's not going to be for everybody, but... Um, obviously we've got a little pill here coming through. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't think that that was by accident. Now with general readings, of course, not everything is going to be for you. So it might be for somebody else because a lot of people watch these videos. So, but, um, yeah, sometimes it's just fun that spirit will bring through a lot of different things for people. I think it's always interesting what spirit wants to bring through. Now I'm going to be using the Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Archetype cards. Something about somebody's brakes on their car. Somebody could, maybe um, somebody just had some, their brakes repaired on their car or something. That is coming through to you. I just had to say that for somebody out there as a confirmation to you. Somebody who just had work done on their car specifically breaks okay let me know in the comment if that is you the thread the mountain
And then at the bottom, we've got the desert with the hand sticking out. You give life. I just heard you give life. People, like, when they look at your eyes, they really do feel like you give them life. Um, in a scary world where people have a lot of fear, they can come to you and find solace and light. And so that's why you are like a safe haven to, to many people. And that's why people enjoy actually looking into your eyes because it gives a sense of peace and comfort and warmth. And people believe you when you speak because you're authentic and you, you're truthful. You speak the truth. You speak your heart. And you are very connected to spirit, the spirit world. With the thread here, you're very connected. You could be, um, practice, you could practice Buddhas, Buddhism. Okay. Um... Or Eastern philosophies could be very important to you in the way that you live. Um, as I said, that's not going to be for everyone, but you, but this is for every for all of you that you're all living a very conscientious type of life where you're very aware of how your actions affect other people around you. So when people look in your eyes, they can tell that you're living a very conscientious type of life. And that you're very awake. People look at you and they just know that you're not stupefied. You're very awake. Um, you are aware, okay, of that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You are very aware of that. Um, you know that you are more than what meets the eye. And you've climbed many mountains to get to the top, but you are at the top. And... Even though you're at the top, you don't look down on others. That's the thing what people like about you when they look in your eyes. You don't look down on people. Even though you're at the top. You help others to get to the top too because you want to like encourage others. You're very encouraging. You don't um, really compete. You're not like that. You're not like a show off or anything like that. You just have a really big heart. I mean with the angels here. I mean, that's very obvious with that you're, you're a very good person with a very good kind heart and a very kind soul. But yeah, I mean, sometimes people like that get like taken for granted by people that are supposed to care for them the most. And that is unfortunate, but like for you, you're the type of person that can stay strong through everything. And you're the type of person that can basically walk through hell and back and be a survivor and you know I am very proud of you for that I just have to say that and spirit is very proud of you for that um for just being strong and being amazing being you not being afraid to like shine your light and I just heard too don't be so hard on yourself for some of you if you are um, earth angels out there who are trying to lose weight um, don't be so hard on yourself. Sometimes earth angels carry a little extra weight around um, their midsections or their, um, sometimes they might have a um, little bit of round face, not fat face, just a little bit of a round face. Um, and don't be so hard on yourself if you are trying to lose weight and you find it difficult to because a lot of earth angels carry some extra weight um, for spiritual protection reasons. So, learn to love yourself the way you are. That's what Spirit is saying. Now, I know that's not going to apply to everybody out there because it's a general reading. Okay. And you're definitely, when people look in your eyes, they definitely feel like you are literally a wish come true. Like everything they could ever wish for, hope for, dream for, you're a wish come true. Now, what I would like to do is get into the part where I channel... And I may say your name. I might say where you're from. I might say what you do for a living or whatever. I might even say your family member's name, uh, your pet's name, your friend's name. I could say a lot of different things here. I'm going to just ask that spirit guide my hand to pull out the, cart, the correct little tiles that will be important for you. 
I'm gonna also just be channeling names so um, you know when I do that uh, if I don't say your name or anybody you know or anything like that that's okay because it doesn't mean that this is not your pile it just is meant to be extra confirmation for you because I know some of you really like the extra confirmation and the extra messages I really like this fun part too it's probably I don't know if it's my favorite part of the reading but it's definitely it's definitely enjoyable um so I'm just opening myself up as a channel for spirit to talk to me um you can be looking for your name or initials in the letter tiles okay but I'm already hearing some hints and clues. For example, I heard Spain. So some of you could um, be Spanish speaking or um, have some kind of tie with Spain. All right. And I heard, uh, I don't know why I was hearing this, Saginaw. I have no idea what that is, but I was hearing that, Saginaw. Wichita. I was hearing Wichita. Orange County. So these are locations is what I'm hearing from spirit that these are locations that you could be from. Hmm. I was hearing Fernville. I don't know where that could be, but I was hearing Fernville. All right, so I will say some names now. I'm hearing Wyatt, Ernest, Melanie, Lillian, Dax, Pedro, Patricia, Patrice, I was hearing Palermo, but I, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know what that is. I don't know what Palermo is. Maybe that's a location. I'm not sure. I was hearing Padre Pio. Some of you could work with Padre Pio. He's a Catholic saint, I believe. Some of you could have been brought up Catholic. Even if you are non-practicing now, you could have been brought up as a Catholic. I heard Rider Waite, so some of you may be tarot readers yourself. Some of you are self-taught with something, very good at it too, whatever this is that you're self-taught. Maybe you're self-taught with tarot. Pam. Eli or Elijah. Charlene. Dennis. Richard. Sabrina. Allie. Heather, Hayden, Haley, Ezra, Felice, DeAndre, Kennedy, Clark, that could even be a last name, Mason, LaShandra, that's a pretty name, LaShandra, I don't know as if I've ever heard that one, but it is pretty, Ari, Daria, Rosie, <clears throat> Bonnie, you could see your um, 
you could see like your um, nickname or something like that in here or an internet uh, handle or like a, I don't know, something, something like that, stage name or something like that. Um, I'm just going to say a few more names, okay? Charlie, Chloe, Caden, Rena, Reno, Nevada, Espada, Spade. That could be like a last name. Ladia, Lydia, Fern, Millie, okay, and, and Cade, Cade is here, okay. I'm seeing the chick from the Blade Runner with the black hair. You could look like that with like jet black hair. Um, you just have like, you present as kind of having like um, a sweet energy about you, but also somewhat of a badass, okay, for some of you out there. Because I was seeing that, like I said, that gal from Blade Runner. Okay. Um, some of you could could literally live near a place where they grow potatoes, and I know that sounds so funny, but I had to say it because I was hearing that from Spirit. You could live near a potato field. Okay, potatoes. Some of you grow beautiful flowers. You're working on opening your third eye. You're doing a, a darn good job of it too. Your intuition is getting sharper and more accurate all the time. You're seeing things that others can't really see that could be in your dream state. Yeah, you're becoming more and more wise and astute spiritually. Also, you could be getting back into touch with an old childhood friend or an old childhood hobby that makes you happy. For some of you, um, there's a kitty cat here with you in spirit, okay? You could see this kitty cat's name here. This may be your pet, a, a current pet that you have or um, a pet that is with you in spirit. And Lady Luck is on your side with the four-leaf clover. Some more clarifiers. Some more clues. I was literally hearing, like, Clueless, that movie. Um, you are very intelligent. And people can tell that when they look in your eyes that you're actually very, very intelligent. Because I'm seeing, and now I'm seeing that that girl from, um, oh, what is it? It's Reese Witherspoon. And she was the lawyer. And um, she was very, very smart. But some people thought that she was ditzy and whatnot. And they teased her. And she actually went through law school. So you, and I don't remember what, what that was called, but it was also like a Broadway play, but, and, and a movie, a musical and a movie. I can't remember what it's called. Maybe if you could remember, you could put it in the comments, but anyway. Um, so you are very smart. And when people look in your eyes, they see that, that you're very intelligent, but like Maybe some people, they see that you're just beautiful and they might judge you and they don't know your intelligence and your depth of intelligence until they really do see it in your eyes and they're like, oh, wow, that, you are very smart, <laughs> very, very intelligent. You surprise people all the time with your 
level of intelligence. Um, Yeah, I'm seeing war and peace. Maybe you like to read books. You could be an avid reader. Um, you could like a po poetry and um, old English is what's coming through as well. Different types of writing and reading materials. You could really like to listen to audiobooks as well. You love to learn. Some of you, um, you, ha you have very curly hair. Um, Cause I, I was seeing perm. So I don't know if people still get those perms in their hair. But that used to be very popular uh, in the 90s, where everybody had a permanent in their hair. Uh, kind of looks like it with the tight, tight curls that I'm seeing that some of you do have. Very pretty. But that's not for everybody. Some of you I'm seeing very straight hair, <laughs> like pin, pin straight. Um, and of course, there's so many people watching this, but that's what I'm seeing, like the majority okay the name hilda is coming through here as well anything else spirit that you want to bring through i was hearing double helix so some of you could be really into studying like genetics maybe you like to study biology or it's very interesting to you to study like, you know, anatomy, physiology, and that kind of thing. You're because you are very intelligent, like very book smart. You have like a rich cultural. I don't know why I was hearing this. A rich cultural heritage. You're. I don't know, what what that would even mean, but you know a lot about a lot of things and you um you're cultured so you have a lot of class you know about the arts and you are very learned you could really value higher education um for some reason i was hearing like some of you could be uh into that aesthetic the certain aesthetic that is called dark what is it called dark academia you could be into that kind of style um that aesthetic okay um i'll show you what that is it's like a certain style okay so this it could be that you like like combat boots, turtlenecks, dark colors, wool, blazers, turtlenecks, sweaters, blouses, flats, or short heels, vintage style, brown, white, wine, wine red, dark blue, dark green colors, plaid skirts and pants, and even plaid socks, quirky socks, fun jewelry and accessories, um, like some kind of like square handbag, all right? You may really like um, rainbows, books, coffee, um, yeah, anything vintage style, glasses, um, you could be into like vegan leather handbags and that kind of thing. Um, so that's called, yeah, dark academia. You could be really into that. Uh, I think it's like, yeah, it's an aesthetic. So check that out and see. Let me know if you um, if you resonate with that style. Um, 
it's like it's it's like this is how you are coming across to people is that you're very intelligent very well put together and very cultured okay so when people look in your eyes they see like a whole nother world an, an interesting world somewhere where they it's almost like people can't stop staring once they look at your eyes because they they see so much so much like liveliness and just this whole element of being awake okay and aware i'm hearing that Katy perry song i'm wide awake <laughs> okay all right um I think that's it as far as messages from spirit um if you enjoyed this reading please let me know by subscribing and uh liking this video and also leaving a comment that really helps my channel it helps me to know if you enjoyed it and if it resonated um if you would like to um have a personal reading with me i do offer those and you can find the info in my description box below. Also, if you like 18 plus uncensored love readings, I do offer those on my Patreon. But um, only join that if you really, really like uncensored, naughty types of videos. Because those are very uncensored and um, they can get very explicit. So, um, yes. If you love those kinds of readings, you're really going to love my Patreon so I have two tiers, uh, one's $3 a month and one's $6 a month. So very affordable and very fun. All the info for that is in my description box. Well, there's a link. It'll take you right to my Patreon where you can find out more info. Um, if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but it's always appreciated. And you can find all the info for that in my description box below as well. Feel free to watch however in the other money piles you were drawn to as well because there could be multiple messages for you uh watch all three if you would like sometimes that's a lot of fun if you have the time and let me know what you liked about this reading that would be awesome to get your thoughts and i always try to respond to everybody who uh leaves a comment so take care and stay beautiful and blessed and uh until next time Bye.